My background is in professional carpet cleaning and in this video I want to show you how to remove some of the toughest organic stains using two cheap ingredients that you probably already have at home. Let me first tell you what I mean when I say organic stain. So when I say organic I'm talking about things like urine, coffee, jam, red wine, orange juice or other things that come from nature. And a stain is when a dye molecule becomes fixed to your carpet or clothing fibers and cannot be removed. If you have a stain, you could clean your carpet 10 times and those dye molecules will not detach from your carpet fibers. Before I show you how this method works with a real stain, I want to show you a demo that illustrates how the principle works. So I have five glasses filled with a few things like coffee, wine, orange juice, and I'm adding the first stain removal ingredient, which is hydrogen peroxide. Hydrogen peroxide is an oxidizing agent and it reacts with most organic dyes, causing them to break down. So basically, if an organic dye becomes attached to the carpet fibers, we can use hydrogen peroxide to destroy the dye molecule. Then once the dye molecule is destroyed, it loses its color properties and becomes invisible. Note that this is safe to use on colored carpets because hydrogen peroxide does not oxidize the synthetic dyes that are used to dye our carpets. Okay, so I also added a second ingredient called household ammonia. The ammonia is important because it speeds up the rate at which the hydrogen peroxide reacts with the dye molecules. Sometimes hydrogen peroxide on its own is enough to remove stains, but in this demo I'm boosting it with household ammonia. Now that you know how this works, I'll show you how to use this on an actual coffee stain. So I've spilt hot coffee in my carpet, and before using the stain removal method, I'm going to use my homemade DIY spotter to try and remove the stain. If this was cold coffee, it'd be really easy to remove it with DIY spotter. But since it's hot coffee, these brown melanoidin molecules that give coffee its brown color become permanently attached to the carpet fibers. Now I've used the DIY spotter three times and it looks like this is a permanent stain, so I'm going to go ahead and add the hydrogen peroxide. This is 6% salon grade hydrogen peroxide. It's called 20 volume clear developer, but it's really just 6% hydrogen peroxide and 94% water. You can also use 3% medical grade hydrogen peroxide, but 6% works better. After adding the hydrogen peroxide, you can add a few sprays of the household ammonia. Now all we have to do is wait, and depending on the type of stain, this could take a matter of minutes or it could take several hours. This method can also be used to remove organic stains from clothing, but I prefer to use OxyClean for clothing stains. I don't like to add OxyClean to carpet because it will leave a sticky residue if it's not rinsed out properly. The great thing about hydrogen peroxide and ammonia is that they both completely evaporate leaving zero residue behind in your carpet. So as you can see, coffee stains can take quite a long time to remove. After about 8 hours, I could still just barely see the stain, so I added fresh hydrogen peroxide and let it sit for another 4 hours. And after a total of 12 hours, this is what it looked like. The stain is completely gone. The final thing we want to do is just use a towel to absorb any remaining liquid from the carpet, then allow it to dry, and we're all done. 